Hello, hello, and welcome back to Thomas Talks. Hopefully you guys are all keeping well, uh, keeping us up with this lockdown update. <laughs> uh, we're now in the middle of February, just after Valentine's. And I thought I would, well, first of all, clear off the lockdown haircut, so anybody who's wondering, watching abroad, everything shut here in the UK, so <laughs> no barbers, no restaurants, nothing like that, no gym, so haircuts are all done at home, so excuse that for the next couple of weeks. And today I got sent through the lookbook for the summer men's collection uh, for Louis Vuitton and it's kind of all kind of watercolour, uh, kind of very light, bright uh, colours and some of the materials and some of the pieces are interesting to say the least. So without further ado, let's crack on and let's go through this lookbook. So if we start off, the very first one, as you can see, it's very, I am going to say pastel, but kind of those light colours. We've got a tote bag, we've got white shoes, and as you can see, we've also got this jacket with the big giant LV monogram across. The next one's got the fading watercolours on the suit. And without further ado, we'll start off. First one we can see is the workwear denim shirt. It's £1,700, pretty plain until you get to the kind of pocket and chest area. And that's when we can see we've got all the watercolour bits. And then if you zoom in, you can see you've got how the flowers and the LV logo itself is imprinted throughout the shirt. Uh, some pieces are unusual, some pieces are quite cool. Uh, the mid layer denim, £850, I'd probably <laughs> skip that, but it's quite an unusual piece with little monogram hints. I don't like those cargo pants. Uh, the windbreaker and the polo top in this ink kind of watercolour, I do like. Uh, the windbreaker is €2,100 and it's 590 for the ink watercolour polo. Board shorts, not a fan of them. I like this with the kind of long sleeves, the kind of navy colour, 3100 denim pants, 790. And then we've got some embroidered short sleeve stuff, which is for warmer climates. I don't think we're going to get abroad this year in the UK, so uh, we're going to be skipping that. Embroidered pyjama top, 1300. Silk pyjama pants, 690, which are totally plain, so if you're a normal Louis Vuitton customer, uh, that's probably something you're going to be going for. It's nothing too blingy there. We'll skip past some of this. Uh, I do like the watercolour leather jacket there. And then those swim shorts, 590, I'd be skipping them. Very colourful and playful though. I like how they've done that for summer. Uh, T-shirts, another short sleeve shirt. <laughs> you can imagine that if you're in Hawaii or something like that. Tailored jacket. Very effeminate, but I quite like the colours. Uh, tailor pants, we passing, but I want to skip through to the bits we're all wanting to look at and that's going to be the accessories and the shoes in the bag. So some of the shoes there, we've got the LV sneakers, they're pretty nice, I prefer the red over the blue. Uh, the mules, definitely no, <laughs> I like the silver colour but not on those mules, the style them especially for 760. No, uh, the ollie slip-ons. Not too bad, not too bad. I like the Ollie sneakers, I like these very much, the dark blue ones are 2500 but I do like them. Uh, just the style, I don't know why. I need to find out why they're more expensive with the kind of sequins on in comparison to the watercolour one for a 660, uh, but I do like them. Uh, the Waterfront Mule, 420. A mule's not too bad, you can actually wear them around the house if you're homeworking and everything, so it could be a piece that you get two benefits from. The really other goods, there's the watercolour tote we've seen at the beginning. I saw the 2000 euros for that. It's not too bad, it looks quite good. I like the kind of watercolour motif in the front. Discovery bum bag, not a huge fan of them uh, for 1400 and The same as the backpack. I prefer the Josh and the Crisper backpacks, just my preference. Uh, I do like the fact they've kept the city keep all we've seen in the spring collection this time. If we zoom in, you can see the watercolour right there with the little tag. Very cute, and then the keep all extra small, very cute with the top handle. As you can see, set of keep all doesn't have the top handle, but it's got a strap. And then the watercolour keep all XS does have the strap and the little top handle. Uh, card holder and strap, we could skip that. Unusually, I would be avoiding these pocket organisers this collection. Uh, they're not jumping out at me. Uh, same as the multiple wallet. Quite like that uh, keep all 50. I did actually prefer it, the pastel one, it was the kind of spring collection there. Pichette Voyage watercolour. It's quite nice. Uh, some of the prints are very hit and miss, that's very bold all over that. And you move to the Horizon luggage where it's mostly white. And get a little watercolour on top of it. And the same with the monogolor watercolour dope kit. 
uh, skateboard trunk, 45,000 <laughs> euros for that. Uh, definitely a Jeffree Star piece. Cocktail shaker, I like the fun, playful nature of that. You could imagine if you're in the Hamptons, out in the back of your house, <laughs> having a summer barbecue, it would be nice. Uh, the Coffret uh, Montrez. Uh, watercolour, I like the navy blue with the kind of blue pastel watercolour top over the white one. I think that would last longer and very masculine looking. The denim keep all, it's quite nice. Uh, what they're calling it, a key all. Key at all. Presuming that's a typo, but that looks like it should be keep all, uh, key apple. I could be wrong. Uh, and then we've got the sack and denim, more recent bags. Going back to wallet again, just not liking that. I do like the ink uh, water colour keep all with the American spelling of colour there. Which, uh, messenger bag. Zach Platt. Oh, that's really cute, the little ink, uh, watercolour keep all XS. Pocket organised again for 360. I'm just not loving that print this collection. I wish they could show you the inside of it, because sometimes when you see the inside of them, and if it's a really bright contrasting colour or something different, that sometimes sells it for me. Phone pouch, the accessories, the bucket hats, definitely no. Um, the kind of hickory stripes cap, no another bucket hat. The belts, I do quite like some of the belts, but that was a colour one. I like the buckle, I like that kind of pastel baby blue. Or it's a bit more deeper than baby blue, but I like that colour of the LV buckle itself. And the white bit, that would just, my worry about dirty. I do like the reversal belt, there we go, in the dark blue. It's quite nice. And the wee scarf, the tie, not too loving the kind of print on that. I thought the mask and the bandana set was a clever idea, marketing thing in the times we live in. But for 380 for a, a mask, I'll be skipping that. Uh, and they've got 590, there we go for the monogram watercolour mask cover. So I don't understand if you get the mask cover bandana set, it's 380, but the one in pink is 590. It's an interesting segue there. Yeah, Sideway glasses, <laughs> I think they're quite hideous actually, that bit decides. Might blind you, but I'm sure it gets it will sell well. But that's not something I like. I do like the fading colour and that pink to blue one, uh, and the black one. If I had to choose, would be them, but I don't like the side of them. Rainbow necklace, not a fan of. Little rings, if they were plain instead of the <laughs> so much blue and green, maybe. The aquatic pendants, some earrings, the friendship charms. They're a wee bit overpriced, three, four, five for a friendship charm. Uh, mini Kipo bag, 5.5, five, oh, it's quite a lot of money and I can imagine that's only going to be about 3 or 4 inches big, so quite expensive. Uh, the Shark is going to be one of those charms, I think it's going to be very seasonal and iconic, that's pretty cool. Watercolour beach towel, again, they've been selling beach towels for a while now, uh, so it's something playful for the sun. And then again we've got a skateboard for 1700 which I personally wouldn't pay for and I can't skateboard but there'll be a market out there somewhere. Earphone case, little pencil case. I did see this, the Carnet Clemis. It looks like an interesting kind of notebook. I could be wrong, but I'm guessing it's some sort of notebook there. With like a big LV right in the middle, uh, with the kind of watercolour floor on top. And then as you can see the white kind of material, but I presume that's going to be canvas with the classic monogram print underneath. Sunglass case and a jigsaw puzzle made me laugh. So it's ideal for somebody who's sitting in lockdown themselves in a Friday night, and then the flask holder which you can go your walks with and use and have your bourbon on it or your tea or whatever, so that's quite a cool piece. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed that kind of summer Louis Vuitton lookbook almost experience. Uh, if you like this video please give me a thumbs up. Please comment below what your favourite is, uh, I'm always curious what people thoughts are because we're all individual. Uh, the mini key and city key poles are pretty cute, especially that dark blue ink colour. Uh, but I think in general I'm just going to pass on that summer pastel collection. I keep calling it pastel, the kind of watercolour collection. I like the pastel collection from spring there. Uh, and fingers crossed that we all get into what I'm really saving up for and hoping to get is some of the pieces from the fall winter collection. So if you comment below what your favourite is, really appreciate if you could hit that like button, subscribe below. Um, try and get up to a thousand subscribers would be amazing. Uh, we really appreciate all your support over the past couple of months. If you don't already, follow me at the Lux Scott on Instagram. I'll leave that here. And yeah, have a great day and enjoy the rest of your time on YouTube. Ciao.